So, what is up everyone? Thank you very much for tuning in for another chapter in OS 9.2. Goodness! Hopefully this time we will get everything up and running. So, if you're interested in this, stay tuned. So guys, a few days have passed until I last had a look at OS 9.2. Um, so the last thing that I, I've got working was a working t um, CD of OS 9.2. But um, we, we went into the problem of resizing or repartitionating the iBook. So now what I decided to do is to get OS 9.2 up and running on this SSD which is located in the G4 Cube. From there I will copy over this installation via my iMac G4 onto my Ultimate um, service drive so that I have a running partition on there as well and then we will have a look into this system so I hope you and um, can understand me because I have a little bit of illness going on right there my voice is a lot deeper than it normally is and it sometimes I have to cough so Sorry for that guys. Yeah, so I hope you will enjoy this journey and let's hope that we will get on. So, let's have a look. So, let's unplug it down here. Plug it back in. We should be up and running. So let's insert the disk and press C. Okay, we now have a diskette symbol with a question mark, which is not what we wanted to see. So let's try a restart. I'm not sure what's happening. Next try, we will use the option key.
Let's have a look. Okay. So now let's choose the CD and go to next. Let's hope that everything is working fine. Huh. This is really interesting. So this CD worked in the iBook that here. Oh wait, there we go. We are loading. Sometimes you really need a bit more to be a bit more patient. There we go guys, we are loading Mac OS Awesome guys, we are in OS 9.2, the installation guide. So I've changed out lenses and now we are looking at the Mac OS 9.2.2 installer. The first thing that we want to do is we want to go to utilities. then we want to go to drive setup so there we have the SSD and we now need to initialize it by the way guys if you press initialize um, this will destroy your partition that are already on there so you have to be really sure <coughs> there we go so everything worked out fine now let's rename that drive to Mac OS 9.2.2 Oops. And now let's go and install it. So let's play continue. Choose a disk to install the software on the on, then click select. So yes, we clicked on the Mac OS. Let's have a look at the options. And press select. Then we go to continue, continue again, we agree to the terms, and 
then we press start. Now we are running. So I will see you again if everything is all right or something has happened quite badly. So yeah, enjoy. Okay, we seem to have everything that we need. So the installation process has finished. Click quit to leave this pro program. Click continue to install other software. So we click quit. Let's have a look what happens. I'm not sure, are we in, still in the installation program? Let's try something, let's eject the disk. Let's do a restart, maybe that's the thing that we need to do. Hmm. There we go, it found the OS. And now it's starting up. Okay, so we s we are up and running in OS 
there is a setup assistant, which I don't care about at the moment. seems to work. One moment please, gathering system information. Oh, it asked me if I want to quit. Yes, I want to quit. So... There we are guys, up and running in OS 9.2. So th first things first, let's eject the disk. There we go. Yeah, that's nice. So finally after so many tries and so many hours I have successfully reached my goal of getting OS 9.2.2 up and running so let's have a look what we can find here about this Mac which was called back then about this computer so we have, as you can see right here, Mac OS 9.2. The specific version is the last one, which is 9.2.2. We have built-in memory of 1.5 GB, which is right. Yeah. So everything seems to be fine. Cool. So that should be it for today. Thank you so much for watching and tuning back in and I will see you with the next big step which will be to get this partition out of the Mac uh, out of the G4 cube onto my service drive over target disk mode over my iMac G4 and then to create the ultimate power PC. Yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.